This video explains how to reproduce and fix the error message error in lm fit na nan inf in x in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines 2 to 4 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print the first six rows of this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 5. And then you can see that our data frame contains the two columns y and x. y will be the target variable in a linear model that we will estimate and x will be the predictor variable. However, you can also see that in x there are na, inf and nan values. So if we apply a linear model to our data, as you can see in line 7 of the code, you can see that the error message in lm fit xy offset singular ok na nan inf in x is returned. And the reason for that are the inf and nan values in our dataset. So if we want to fix this error message, we can modify our data frame, as you can see in lines 9 and 10. So in line 9, I'm first creating a duplicate of our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. So after running this line of code, a new data frame called data new is created. And then in the next step, I'm replacing all the NAN and inf values in our data set by NA. So after running line 10 of the code, our new data frame is updated, as you can see by printing the first six rows of this data frame once again to the bottom in the RStudio console. And now you can see that we have replaced all the NAN and inf values by NA. Now, if we run the lm function once again, as you can see in line 13 of the code, but this time to our new data set, a valid output is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console and no error message is shown anymore. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.